Shall your brothers go to war and you sit your behind here? That's what Moses is saying. You got to correlate that with many of us today. You got some brothers in the war, in this fight, and other brothers just sitting back. I'll wait for brothers to beg me to do something for this truth. We ain't begging you to do nothing. Let me ask you this, what's your nationality? Let me ask you this, what's your nationality? We are not to be like that. What y'all came to do? Who you came to see? We shaking in the wind. They're out here to throw down, tear down all the lies that you've been taught. Buddhism, Islam, Christianity. Christianity is not teaching you that you are the true Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Give me, give me that. Give me Isaiah 30. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity uh -huh. and the water of affliction. So right now, we are in hell according to the scripture. Our people are being afflicted daily. Our people are being executed daily. The young men of Jerusalem are being killed for nothing. Read. <laughs> Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Read that again. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity mm -hmm. and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So no longer will only the truth of your true nationality be taught in New York City. Right. No longer will brothers only be able to find out the truth on YouTube. That's right. The Most High is waking up brothers all across the world to teach you so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans that you are the true Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Read. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee. Read. And thine ears shall hear what? A word behind thee. And your ears are going to hear that you are an Israelite. And your ears are going to hear that you are supposed to keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. Say, this is the way. Walk ye in it. Say what? This is the way. Walk ye in it. Give me second Ezra 7 and 24. Let's find out what is the way the most high gave us for us to follow. What is the word that you will be hearing in these last days? Because right now our people are spiritually asleep. We are asleep. We don't know our nationality. We don't know who our true father is. We are walking zombies. That's right. Read that. Second Ezra chapter seven, verse twenty-four. But this, but his law have they despised. Twenty-one. Okay. Second Ezra chapter seven, verse twenty-one. For God hath given straight commandments. God hath given what? Straight commandments. Sister, did you know you got to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments? Read it again. For God hath given straight commandments. This is the way that our people are going to hear in the last days. You are going to hear that God has given us straight command. Read. To such as came what they should do to live. What they should what? What they should do to live. So we are out here giving you the instructions that you need to live. Now give me Acts 17 and 30. Because according to the Bible, like the brother already said, it's high time. It is, we are in the last days. The Most High is making it evident that we are the children of Israel. No other nation is being killed at the rate of which we are. That's right. Read that. Acts chapter 17, verse 30. Uh -huh. And the times of the ignorance God winked at. And the time of ignorance, when we were enslaved, when we were in the 1800s, when we couldn't read, when we were in the 1900s, when we couldn't even congregate together, the Most High is winking at that time. We had no fight, no might in our hand. Read. But now, come but now, in 2014, when brothers and sisters have the financial, spiritual, and economical power to rise up, read. But now, commanded all men everywhere uh -huh. to repent. Read that last word again. But now, commanded all men everywhere to repent. But now, God commands all men and women everywhere. Everybody on the 12 tribes side to repent and come back to your true nationality. Because he had appointed a day 
in the which we will judge, in which he will judge the world in righteousness. Read that part again. Because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness. Because the Most High understands that soon he will send his son to judge all of us according to God's law, statutes, and commands. That is why he is sending his teachers out first to warn you of your sins and the destruction that will come across you if you do not repent and follow God's law, statutes, and commands. Give me Romans 6 and 23. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Uh huh. For the wages of sin is death. Read that again. For the wages of sin is death. So, the wages, that means your payment, your paycheck, what you will receive, is what? Is death. Brother, do any of y'all know what the definition of sin is according to the Bible? What is it? Do you know? What is it? You don't know? All right, give me that. All right, let's find out what sin is according to the Bible. Because I'm pretty sure you young men, you, do you guys love Jesus Christ? You love God? Yes, sir. You love God, right? Yes. All right, so in order to love God, give me 1 John 5 and 3 first. Let's find out how we love God according to the scripture. First John chapter 5, verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God. So the Bible will tell you how exactly how to love God. Let's find out. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. Read. That we keep. His commandments. That we do what? Keep His commandments. That we keep His commandments. Now, you brothers say you love God. I'm going to give you some commandments that you're supposed to be keeping. All right? Give me Leviticus 11 and 6. Let's find out, do we love God or we do we talk about we love God? Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7. So the brothers going to read such. All right? And we're going to see, are we living this or are we talking about it? And the swine, uh -huh. though we divide the hood. All right? The swine. Do y'all know what swine is? Pig. Pig, pork, right? Read. And the swine, though he divide the hook, uh -huh. and be cloven footed, uh -huh. yet he cheweth not the cud. Uh -huh. He is unclean to you. He is unclean to you. Read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Read that last part again. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. What that mean, brother? Don't eat pork. Don't eat pork, right? All right. Now, did any of y'all know that before y'all came up and talked to us? Any of y'all knew that? Had your pastor ever taught you not to eat pork? He didn't, he didn't say that, right? All right, give me Malachi 2 and 7. So, now that you know that, are you going to implement that in your daily life now? Are you going to stop eating pork? I'm going to try. You're going to try? Yes. All right, give me that. <laughs> Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Uh -huh. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. All right, so the priest's lips, that's your pastor, your priest, your bishop, whatever you want to call it, the elders in the church. Read it again. For the priest's lips. So your pastors, read. Should keep knowledge. They're supposed to keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law uh -huh. at his mouth. And you're supposed to be seeking God's laws at his mouth. So he's not supposed to just tell you that. He's supposed to enforce that you are not eating pork daily. Now, that's just one command. Do you guys understand the process of getting the kingdom of heaven? Do you know what you, what you have to do to get heaven? Accept them, right huh? Accept, Accept them in your heart. Huh? Accept them in your heart. Accept them in your heart? Give me Matthew 19, 16. All right. Because does God have any requirements for us to get heaven besides just say you love him? Does no he have sin. any requirements, any action do you well, have to you do? Can, you can sin, sin but you, you have to ask for forgiveness. Right, right. You repent, right? Yeah. All right. Let's see exactly what we're supposed to do. Because I didn't read y'all. What is sin? Y'all still ain't. Y'all still don't know what sin is, right? All right. Let's get that. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Let's find out what sin is. Whosoever committed sin. Whosoever committed sin. Read. Transgressed also the law. Transgressed also the law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of God's law. So eating pork, what is that? That's a sin, right? And you said, in order to get the kingdom of heaven, you can't do what? You can't sin. Now, give me that. As long as you repent, right? Right, you, you repent. must repent. But now you know you're not supposed to eat pork, right? But well, look, is it talking about people who sin too? Huh? Is it talking about people in a certain way of sin? A certain way of sin? Yeah. I don't get what you're saying. Come closer, but I can't really eat. Like, 
like worrying about yourself pretty much and like just speaking bad and speaking negative on that person, isn't that a part of sin? Sin is transgression of God's law. There is a law. Tell, tell Baron. Give me that Matthew 19, uh, I mean Leviticus 19 and 16. Tell Baron. That's a sin also, brother. That's why you gotta know these commandments. I mean, All right? Can we, some of that stuff be taken too literally? Like too literal? Too, yeah. No. It is exactly how it's written. Where do we read the love of God is? To do what? To keep what? To keep his commandments. Yeah. Do you think he meant that uh, any other way than the love of God is to keep the commandments? It's pretty straightforward. Some stuff in the Bible, yeah, it is It is a little deeper than what it uh, appears. But when he says, the swine, it is unclean to you. There's no other way. To, you get what I'm saying? That's pretty straightforward. That's like if I say, go down the street and take a left. There's, there's no other deeper meaning to it. Leviticus 19 and 16. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people. Brother, you heard that? Read that again. Thou shalt not go up and down. All right. Thou shalt not go up and down. So back, back then, they had to literally go walking around running their mouth to people. Read. As a talebearer. As a talebearer. What do we call them when we grow up? Tattletale. All you do is run your mouth. You tell his bitch, her bitch. Everybody bitch, read. Among thy people, uh -huh. neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. All right, so exactly what you just said. Yes, that's a sin also. You got to understand this Bible is full of law, statutes, and commandments that we're supposed to be keeping. All right, so yes, that's a sin. Did you have any other questions? Now, I'm going to get you how to get the kingdom of heaven. Give me Matthew 19 and 16. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, one came. All right, so a man came to Christ. Read. And said unto him, uh -huh. Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So Christ is going to give him a straightforward answer. It's not, it's not deep at all. Of what you got to do to get your kingdom. Read. And he said unto him, uh -huh. Why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one, uh -huh. that is God. But... If thou will enter into life. So, brother, if you want to get the kingdom of heaven, read. Keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. It's not deep at all. It's not deep at all. I'm going to show you the problem with our people. Our people hate God's law. That's right. They want to get in any other way they can besides doing what the word of God said. It means it's your 30, uh, 33 now. This week's song. It's a song kick. Because our people do not want to keep God's law. We have been taught by our oppressors for over 400 years that all you got to do is open up your heart and accept Jesus Christ and you're good. But the Bible does not say that. Give me Colossians 2 and 8 first. Hold that. See, that is what's wrong with the black community. Our people have been spoiled with vain philosophies and doctrines that are not profitable for you. Read. After... The tradition of men. After the traditions of men. Read. After the rudiments of the world. And the rudiments of the world. Let's talk about money. All the doctrines of today are about money. Give me Micah 2 and 11. Your pastor does not care about your salvation. All he cares is that you fill up the tithe in the collection pot. That's all he cares about. Chapter 3, verse 11. Uh-huh. The heads thereof. Though the heads thereof judge for reward. The heads thereof judge for reward. That's talking about your, your prophet, your pastors, your preachers. They judge for reward. Read. And the priests thereof teach for hire. And the priests, they teach for hire. They come to your church. If you give me $25,000, T.D. Jackson come to your church. If you pay me $30,000, Joel Osteen to come preach at your church. Read. The heads thereof judge for reward. Uh -huh. And the priests thereof teach for hire. They teach for hire. Read. And the prophets thereof divine for money. They do what? Divine for money. That is what Christianity is all about. But let's find out what the true prophets of the most time. How do they operate? Give me uh, 2 Thessalonians 3 and 10. I want that they work so they wouldn't be a, um, an issue to the church. The true prophets of the Most High will not charge you for the word of God. They don't care about your money. They don't care if you give. We want to see our people get to the kingdom of heaven. I want to see you repent so Christ will come back and get us out of this captivity. 
2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 8. Neither did we eat any man's bread for nut. Read that again. Neither did we eat any man's bread for nut. So the apostle Peter and Paul, they did not eat another man's bread for no reason. Read. But wrought with labor uh -huh. and travail uh -huh. night and day. They had jobs. And they still talk the gospel. They didn't ask you for all your money so they can ride around in a Mercedes. That is not what it's about. Read. That we might not be chargeable to any of you. That they what? So they might not be chargeable to any of you. So they did that in the exact opposite reason of why your pastors demand money from you today. They did not want the members in the body to be broke. Read. Not because we have not power. Not because they didn't have the power. Because they understood that God's word is priceless. This is worth more than any ruby or jewel you can find. Read. But to make ourselves an example. But to be an example. Because you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans hate to work. That's right. You love welfare. You trust in oppression. Yes. You don't want to get a job. You want to stand on the corner and sell drugs. You want to dedicate your whole life to putting a ball in a hoop and hope you get a big paycheck. That's right. You do not want to work every day like the most high command. Read. Not because we have not power, uh -huh. but to make ourselves an example unto you to follow us. To follow us. Because we work job. The prophets work. Read. For even when we are with you, uh -huh. this we commanded you. This was a commandment. Read. That if any would not work, Neither shall it eat. So, Paul said if you didn't work, you didn't eat. So my question is, when is the last time T.D. Jake has went to the job? When is the last time Creflo Dollar has went on the plantation and worked? It's not happening. Because they preach for hire. Your pastors don't care about you. Now give me Isaiah 30 and 8. This is why. This is why you give them all your money. There's a reason why you do it. Because they're not telling you what you need to hear. They're telling you exactly what you want to hear and you pay them for. You pay them to put you in hell. To keep you in captivity. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table uh -huh. and note it in a book. Uh -huh. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever. So, what we're about to read, Isaiah wrote it down a long time ago. We got the same spirit today. Our people still do not want to hearken unto God's word. Read. That this is a rebellious people. That two so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are a rebellious people. Read. Lying children. Lying children. Read. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Our people do not want to hear God's law. The brother was fine the whole time. And so we brought up, he had to keep the command. Now all of a sudden the Bible is figurative. It's not talking little. Yeah, it, it's burdensome now. But when we said all you gotta do is love God and how to love God, it wasn't no problem. Oh, that was little. When he says all you gotta do is love your brother like yourself, that's little. But when it comes to, brother, you can't eat pork, is that really what it means? Come on, man. Our people, our people hate God's law. Keep reading. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, uh -huh. which say to the seers, see not. And that's what y'all say to us. You say, don't come out here and tell us God's law, statutes, and commandments. We don't want to hear about the gospel. I don't want to know that I'm an Israelite. I don't want to know that I can't wear pants. Read. Which say to the seers, see not. Uh -huh. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Because you don't want to hear truly what this Bible says. You want to feel so-called good when you leave the church. You don't want to know what you're not supposed to do. Read. Speak unto us smooth things. You want to hear smooth things. You want to hear the pastor tell the story about what he did this week with his $400,000 car and his $500,000 house. You don't want to hear God's law, statutes, and commands. That's right. Read. Prophesy deceits. Keep you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. And that's what you want, because you don't want the most high to judge. 
That is not what our people are looking forward to. Because at the end of the day, you know what you're supposed to be doing. You know you cannot be involved in all this wickedness. You truly know that God's laws are not done away with. There's no way you keep one law and not the next law. That's right. How can you not murder, but you can, you can profane the Sabbath? It's all in the same chapter. Bring it up. It's all in the same exact chapter. Our people are very simple. Give me that. Go back to Proverbs 1. Our people love lies. We love lies and we love not hearing God's statutes, law, statutes, commandments. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Uh -huh. Wisdom cries without. She utters her voice in the streets. Wisdom, God's law, it utters in the streets. Read. She cries in the chief place of concord. In the chief place of the concord. Our people are waking up. The Most High is sending his prophets out to wake our people up. Read. In the openings of the gates, in the city she utters her words, saying, uh -huh. How long, ye simple ones? How long, ye simple ones? How long will you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans party and not think you're going to have to pay for it? How long do you think you can be a whoremonger and not be judged? How long before you catch hate? How long before you continue to sell drugs and sooner or later you get shot down in the street? That's right. How long do you think you're going to be able to do this? Three? How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? And fools hate what? And fools hate knowledge. Brother. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel with Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.